All right, guys, what's going on? Figured I'd give you a little bit of an update on what's been happening in the city of brotherly love. Once was, right? Once upon a time. Somebody's uh, Snapchatting me. What's going on here in Philadelphia? Not a whole lot of good. Uh, it's getting worse. It is getting worse. For me, personally, it's I haven't experienced it like most people are right now. I'm still going to work every day. A lot of you know I work at a bottling plant and we make water so that's an essential business we got to keep we got to keep the plant open as far as i know i mean we're taking extra precautions everything's getting wiped down and cleaned and every surfaces that guys touch the machines the, um, you know everybody's got to wear gloves it's you know it's it is what it is if you're sick stay home we haven't heard of anybody getting sick or anything so we've been lucky and i'm, I'm very blessed that i have a job where <laughs> you know, I need to go to work every day and I'm lucky. And I've been working seven days a week. I got work today, Sunday. You know, most people don't even work the weekends. I'm still going strong seven days. So for me personally, I haven't experienced it, but it's all making money, but what good money right now besides for my rent? And the, there's no food stores that, that are have anything in them. You can't, you know, I'm gonna try to get some stuff tomorrow because I'm low. I have my backup supply, but I don't think it's time to dig into that yet. You know what I mean? We ain't there. We, ain't, we aren't at that level. Um, as far as I know, the stores are being restocked, but there's been freaking lines going down a block in the morning, when right when the trucks show up and stuff like that. So I'm going to go later at night, see what I can find or, or something. So I don't know yet. But So the city's on lockdown. They're talking about uh, bringing in the National Guard now. That's actually going to happen. Um, so they're, they're even talking about closing the bridges so you can't leave the state. I mean, this is just crazy. I can't even believe this is happening. I cannot believe this is happening. It's, it's just surreal. It's like a, it's not a movie, but it's like, because people are pretending like it is one. They're like, oh, I'm buying ammo. So one big thing that happened around here is, uh, the police said that they're not, the commissioner went on the news and said that they weren't going to be arresting people at this moment who commit it. Crimes such as prostitution, dealing drugs, theft, um, robbery, and stuff like that. So, like, cool, great. So everybody went out and bought all the ammo. The gun stores were packed up, and, and it was just, it's been crazy. There's been home invasions. There's been robberies. There's been, so now they're bringing in the National Guard. They're going to bring in for helicopters for the police. They're going to be flying around in freaking helicopters and all this. And that, that's real. That's ha This is happening. So... I don't, this is not a time to go to war with your neighbor. Like, I don't understand what people are doing, what, you know, like, if this is not, this is time to come together. This is not, it's, and come together, but don't, but don't go near each other. It's, it's just like a weird, it's a weird thing that's, that's happening, but it's not going away anytime soon. This is just the beginning. I think, I think we're going to be dealing with this for the better part of the year. I think we're going to go through all summer like this. I think that uh, you're going to be prepared for the long run. So, and that's a scary, that's a scary thing. Some states are, are way worse than others. I've been seeing some, some states down south are having a lot of deaths and they're, the outbreak is really intensifying overnight. Here it's been, they've been, they shut this shit down early. You know, they closed all the bars, all the, nothing's open. You can't go anywhere where, where, where there's a gathering of people. Besides when you're waiting in line at the fucking supermarket, which is ridiculous. So that's what's been going on here. And like I said, haven't really felt the effects of it because I still go to work. Got some more workout videos for you guys to, to do. We're going to do individualized workouts. Uh, I seem to be getting some good amount of views on it. Not, not terrible amount. So, um, you know, I guess we'll keep doing that. Not a whole lot much to talk about. I want to do a podcast, but, you know, there's really nothing to talk about besides the the virus. So it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, well, I guess that's what we talk about because there's literally nothing else to talk about. I'm trying to find something so we can get our minds off it and just be someone that you guys can come to for entertainment and come to to get your head out of this shit because I think we all need that. I think we need to move forward, start moving forward. Uh... It is what it is. It's here, you know. You're either going to get it, get sick, get over it, or you're going to get it. Hopefully you don't get pneumonia because that's when it's going to get bad for you. So hopefully 
you know, I have some people that I know that have diabetes who, you know, have just, it's just bad. I don't want, you know, people are dying. So, anyway, um, yeah, I think it's time to move forward and start, start thinking about, you know, all right, let's just stop with the propaganda from China that the Chinese coronavirus is racist. First of all, I don't see how that's possible because it's a nationality, not a race. Uh, so it's just it's just people and f first of all they try to blame the United States soldiers if you're an American that's that's not to be tolerated our soldiers did not bring this thing to China like give me a break they could have stopped 95% of this in November but they decided to try to cover it up and kill the doctor who tried to warn everyone not physically kill him but they let him get the virus and die from it without getting medical care any care you just die. they just let him die so, um, lots of people with their propaganda on this stuff on Facebook and, and social media, and it's just, I think a lot of people need to start getting hobbies. Get a hobby. Start painting. Start singing. Start playing guitar. Start some, doing something. Start doing YouTube. I know a lot of you want to be YouTubers. Start doing YouTube. Start filming your day. I don't know. Do something other than post on TikTok. People doing the same, the same dance on TikTok. I know how many of you have seen somebody doing that same freaking song on TikTok yesterday and the day before. Holy crap, I wanted to, I just got, I had to get off, I had to get off it. So I'm continuing to get off the social media. I post, I post my pictures from the uh, workout and stuff and, and that's it. I'm, I don't care what anybody's doing, I'm done. Uh, I care about you guys and making sure everyone, that, my subscribers are getting good information and Making sure you guys, I appreciate the support you're giving me even in this tough time. It's crazy. The channel will never go anywhere, just so you guys know. The channel's never going to shut down. The only way it ever does is if YouTube shuts down and the internet shuts down and the world just completely goes to shit. And even then, I'm still going to try to put videos out for you guys to see. So maybe we can meet up and start a damn army or something. I don't know. But I know uh, times are really going to be real tough. So, and you know, some people, some of you may not believe that. And I think, I think you need to wake up. I think you need to wake up a little bit. It's, it's not about getting this virus. Like I said, it's, it's a lot more than that now. It's the, the economy crashing, you know. It's the stores being empty, like I said, three weeks ago. It's all these other things that have to do with that, that are, that people are going crazy. So... And they don't know how to how to take it. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to prepare. They, they're scared, and, and that's you know what to expect. What do you expect? The whole world. It's not just Pennsylvania going through this or the city. It's all of us. Every human being on planet Earth right now is dealing with this. Think about that for a second. So <laughs> it's a time to come together and not go to war with each other, right? We can beat this thing. And we will. We'll come out on top of it for sure. But not without casualties, not without maybe someone you know and being, uh, being victim to this craziness. And I pray for your families and everyone that, and I don't really do the whole praying thing and all that, but I have been, I have been, because uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this has happened. It's been a fucked up year for me to begin with. And then, like, this shit happened, and it's like, wow, what is going on with the world? So, it's a wake-up call, even for me, and I'm considering myself a pretty prepared individual, and now I realize how underprepared I actually was, even for me. Not prepared nearly enough to where I need to be. And uh, so, the reality of it is, take it a day at a time, let's start moving forward, and... Uh, Stop at the, it's here, hearsay, it's here, it's going to stay, it's going to be a while, so we can get through it. So that's my update for this day, I guess, it's Sunday, um, I think it's March, what, what day is it? March 22nd already, can you believe it? It's already going to be April. I think they're thinking, uh... Yeah, so it's it's not it's, it hasn't been getting better. That's for sure. So we haven't seen any t signs of it getting better or changing or you know oh everything's gonna be open now. Nope. Nope. So.
that's life right now. It's, we got to adjust. Got to adjust your lifestyle because this is this is the life we have right now. So um, that's that's the advice I have for you guys. Let's start moving. Let's start moving forward and, and just dealing with the card that we were dealt with. That's all. And uh, sucks, that's for sure. But you know, um, you definitely ain't going out on no dates if you're single. Yeah. Nope. Nobody's social distancing. <laughs> Yep, bad idea anyway. Bad idea to be uh, hooking up right now and stuff. Anyway, so that's all I got, guys. I'll see you in the next one. We'll do a workout video tomorrow morning. We'll do, I think we're going to do arm day or, I don't know. You guys leave in the comments what you think, what, what, what we should work on. I think we're going to do either arms or back. I don't know. Or maybe chest and back. We'll figure it out. Usually I do arms every day with every workout because I got like slinky arms. They're, they are getting better now though because I've been doing them a lot lately here with, you know, just arms. Just arms, arms, arms. Uh, so that's all I got guys. I'll see you in the next one. And um, I will pray for your families and hope, hopefully we come out on top of this faster than expected. And um, yeah, that's it. Love you all. Peace. Tell them all to stay calm, yeah. Tell them all to move on, yeah. Fuck up my posts, this ain't now. They be lost in the sauce, yeah. Took a loss, that's your loss, yeah. Had to get my point across.